Good evening. 1st of July. So that is seven days since the last video and 21 days before you arrive. Ted's had a haircut. <laughs> there he is. Had a haircut. He looks good, didn't he? Yeah. He doesn't mind the heat. Fortunately, today was, I think it was 33 degrees in the shade, that's under in the terrace. And it was 42 degrees uh, in the sun. So it was a hot day and it was very little wind. So uh, it's obviously getting hotter out here. Uh, right, in this episode, I talk uh, about a few things. Um, first of all, I tackle, we tackle the drive. We've uh, taken a little bit more of the drive up. Uh, with the machine and uh, yeah <laughs> it ends up damaging a little bit more than well, more than I wanted but uh, yeah it's all nice and clear now um, and yeah we can put stone in there finish that off. less than uh, four weeks to go and I decided I'm going to take this wall out <laughs> oh my god you got the machine here in the lorry and we're just starting to destroy the drive even more. But uh, yeah, let's get the levels right. We're going to build two new walls either side and uh, hopefully get those ready. And then from there, I can set, set the road, get, get the walls in, set them in level, and then I can set the road out. So I just can't, I can't do it with all these different levels and, and the walls all falling apart. It's just a mess. So anyway. <laughs> Let's put the machine in. <laughs> oh, we're going backwards. We're going backwards before we go forwards. So just got, just got underneath the electrical cable, adapted the arm. And now we've got to take this up. This up. This. Probably can't hear me. So <laughs> take uh, a video of uh, the pit so the machine that's a 25 ton machine in there that's a 25 ton lorry it's a small one but it's okay carry I think it's 80 I think it's 16 tons the weight it carries 30 uh, so yeah the pit there or the swimming pool you see the bazooka oh, sorry the rubbish at one end, and then he digs a big hole, moves it, and moves the soil here up to the uh, terrace here. As you can see, you saw that from the video. Uh, and then slowly move along and put the, the rubbish in the pit, which is uh, about five meters deep, and that's uh, Sadie. <laughs> he's still got his hat on from the fair, I think he's still had a few from the fair. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I think the lorry's with us all week. Got a lot of rubbish to move around. You can see a big pile of rubbish there, piles of rubbish at the end. And today we're going to clean the drive. Uh, that's what we're hanging around here for. So I want this lorry filled up, and then we get the machine out of the pit, back around the house, and reverse the lorry up and start load it up. The only thing is we have still have the overhead power cables. So we need to navigate that. So that's why the both of us will, will work with the machine and the lorry to make sure that no one hits anything. So yeah, in terms of quantity of materials, we have moved 3,200 tons of material around the site. And I've had 1,800 tons of stone delivered and put in position. 
which uh, <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I looked at the figures myself. Um, and yeah, and we've done that in three months. So it was three months. We came out here on April the 3rd, and uh, that's when I started the big machine. So I've done this in three months. So I mean, I need to, you know, sometimes think to it myself, you know, how much I've achieved in that time. But uh, yeah, so it's been an incredible journey, really thoroughly enjoying it. Um, and uh, quite pleased with the, uh, with the result. I know we've still got a bit more to go. Um, also, I've done a lot of work. I've taken down all of the, you'll see it on the drone, but I've taken down all of the walls to the drive, both sides. It was necessary because I wanted to get rid of the foundations because I want to put the wall in a different position. And in the future, I will lay the drive um, to the levels I want, and then I'll provide a thickening, uh, which is a little bit like a ring, like a, like a, oh golly, like a slab with a thickening on the edge. Um, so I lay that on the edge of it, and then that will act as my foundation. So if the road moves, the wall moves with it. So in that way, there won't be any cracks. So that's probably a, a better option, a better idea. Also started the base to the new garage. Um, in the video, I show um, that we had, unfortunately had to take out some of the stone because of the the height. Um, once I set it out, I realised that the height was a little bit too high. Well, this morning uh, we are going to dig out for the new uh, garage. We've uh, originally dug it out already, but we've had to lower it because the well, I did the setting out of the original garage. So when I was setting out this one, the new one, I realised that the old one was about 300 or 250 mil higher than the finished concrete that we have, that I want to, on this drive. So in order for the car to go in, I want me to use that garage. So the new one now is about 250 mil lower, which you can see from the blue line that's set out here. Also had to make it slightly bigger. So let's take it down some of the stone wall and get it in. Um, so we had to get rid of the concrete so we're going down lower so that's where the lorry's here um, it's a bit of a pain so we'll go backwards before we go forwards but uh, yeah um, it means that the old garage or the Amazon, we I will, I will close that door off the main door uh, and then use for the garden I'll use the other side so that's level with the road that I'm building the other side. So this, this garage door I will shut, block up, and then we'll access from the other side. But where the window is, I'll knock that through and there'll be a, a step between the two garages so I can uh, you know, park the car and access any other bits. Uh, and I don't have to then walk, I can just open the garage and walk straight through to the uh, garden store. and. Uh, Controls off the irrigation and the valves and all the sensors and I don't know, all the other stuff. So yeah, so today, yeah, we're doing that. We've uh, done a lot of damage. Uh, I, I, I'll come back to that one, but today we're just covering up the top side of the concrete to the uh, drain. So basically we're now protecting the drain completely. So we did the bottom side and then we protect the top. When they backfill it, it shouldn't damage the pipe and knock it out of level uh, and as time goes by it will probably stay in shape a bit like the manholes a bit like what you see in England you see the the manholes stay stay where they are but then you see the roads sink same same principle the manholes are built around concrete and the roads built um, on stone um, which is crushed right I'm gonna show you what we did yesterday uh, Rita's away. I've heard that she's not coming back to the 9th of July. <laughs> so it gives me a bit of a chance to uh, to uh, get this done without it looking like a, another bomb has gone off. So basically what we did yesterday here is we took up, I think you saw from the video, that I took up the uh, drive, the existing drive here. Unfortunately I damaged a bit of the barbecue with the machine but uh, there's a massive foundation in here which I had to get rid of. So today all I've done is uh, put some boarding up and uh, just repair the concrete to the, to the step here. Then I'll clean around the entrance 
and then in a couple of weeks time or three weeks time just before the uh, party everybody arrives we'll get the uh, get the stone in grade this grade the ground get the stone in temporary stone um, so it looks like more of a drive but I was doing the setting out of the uh, this is the water mains we've got to put them underground we've got to put the pipes underground we'll do that later I was setting out the driveway trying to kind of get levels right last night um, there's a very good chance that I won't build any of these walls um, before the party but I'm not depending on how much time I've got um, but uh, it will be stoned it will be looking a little bit better than it is now um, but yeah all go <laughs> there's 10 of us working at the moment on site. I haven't gone to the gym for three days, <laughs> or five days, sorry, five days the weekend. So <laughs> I feel like I'm doing the gym here because it's not how much concrete mixed up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. The sun's out at least. And Ted's with me, following me around every step I take. He's there with me. <laughs> Little fella. Yeah, we just had our last load of uh, stone. So we've, uh, this is our lorry, our driver have been with us most of the time last medium load so the idea of this load is where you see the uh, the entrance to the lower level here you see the palm trees so they'll be adjusted um, out of the way be reboot re re um, planted again but the, the wall that here that was going to go across to the uh, Amasen or the uh, garage uh, but now um, we're going to extend it along here and then the other side, that will then go round and join up with the stone leading to the lower road. So it'll be like more of a road down here, I'll probably visualize it. And then the other side where you see all the, the rubbish and the sand, that's where, um, where I bring the stone round the other way. And then as I was talking this morning, where the window is there, that's where I'll put the, uh, the new entrance to the garden, garden store. So uh, yeah, on the top here, so the lorry at the moment is excavating more soil out of the pit because we filled up an awful lot of rubbish in there from the drive and taking the walls out. So now he's excavating some more space. We're dumping it down the far end of the wall uh, where we need to level that out a bit more before we eventually get the palm trees in and the irrigation. So we're going to use it there. We're going to level this off and then we're going to put stone either side of the main entrance. So we are brought in uh, the ground. So this is a base going in um, to the garage. And uh, actually, um, Seb's got good contact because he's actually got the cement mixer in. But he's actually filled up with a load of stone rather than use a, one of the big lorries. So basically, what we're going to do now is we, we're lowering this level here. Because that, like I said before, that, that one's a bit higher. So this one's going to be a level which we drive. And then what we do is we, rather than put concrete down, uh, we will still put a cleaning concrete on top, or we call it blinding. And then uh, we're just going to put some stone down, which is cheaper. So we've got this lorry to go and pick it up, which is amazing. We <laughs> can't get that in the UK. And he's filled up with stone, and then he's going to lay that down here, preparation. And then later, where we go back, fill up with concrete, and it's going to go over the top. And then from there, we can put the reinforcement in, and then we can step it out correctly. So, all good. All happening here today. And we've also done the concrete to the underside of the surface water drainage and then the next day we did it on top so it's now completely covered also we did the bases to the steps that go down through the terrace you'll see them on the drone and that leads to the lower terraces so we've done bases there about 300 mil thick uh, reinforced concrete one is we mixed it all up by hand. Um, in fact, I was on the machine. 
on myself. That's four tons, I think I did, but I can't remember what I said now, but um, an awful lot of, it took a lot of time and uh, yeah, I punished myself for it because uh, he couldn't walk the next day. But yeah, that's the, so that foundation is 2.6 by 2.6 by 300 mil deep. And then the other one is 2.6 by about a metre. So it's a bit smaller, the top, or, top one, not so high. So yeah, today we're uh, mixing up the top uh, steps, which you can see just behind me. So basically, we're putting in steps of foundation um, because of the clay in the earth, it has to be quite thick and reinforced, obviously. Um, the idea is that that's a base and we lay the sleepers on that and we build a wall either side of it, which I'll show a little bit later on. But the one at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, the one on the bottom we did that on Wednesday. I don't think I mixed up so much concrete in 32 degree heat in all my life. I went through four sacks, uh, one ton bags of ballast and 26 uh, bags of cement. <laughs> uh, so that was a hard one. We did four hour, four hours mixing. I think I drunk three, four and a half liters of water doing that as well. But uh, yeah, it's quite good for me because I don't have to move around. I can just sit there shoveling. So uh, I don't mind that in the heat too much. Um, I don't mind. But uh, yeah, this one, this base is probably about two bags, maybe maybe one and a half, something like that. But it's, it's quite a small base. But yeah, that's the plan today. And. Uh, also on Wednesday, I don't know if I showed you this, but <clears throat> we did the foundations. Yeah, I think I was showing you this. Then we did the foundations for, we cleaned this out. We put down some stone, which we got from the local cement plant, which uh, we couldn't get a lorry. So we filled it up, <laughs> cement lorry filled up with uh, stone and he shifted it in there for us. So that's very kind. And then we looked at the blinding concrete's now down. And I, I thought the guys were gonna be in today to start doing the, the force work around the outside, the form work. But uh, no, they're not in, so I'll probably be in next week. And then finally, uh, we cleared the land around the water deposit. Um, unfortunately, we hit the irrigation yesterday again, um, which I was a little bit upset about, but it's now cleared. We've killed the bamboo, um, the roots, fingers crossed. We've cleared the land, we cleared all the stone. There's a concrete slab behind it, so that's all now cleared. Like I said, all the stone walling's done. And we moved a few trees from the lower level. Um, there was a couple of uh, olive trees, which were looking a bit of a mess. So they've been, uh, we've cut them down, uh, dug them up. And that's cleared the area now, really. And the palms that are left, you probably see them on the aerial, but the palms that are left are being distributed around the, around the drive. I want to put the steps leading up to the higher garden I want to, up there, those steps. I'm gonna put palms, the tall palms either side. And then I've built a wall, a stone wall. I've moved the palm trees that were going down, I don't know, by the side of the garage. I don't know if you remember that, but probably see it from the aerial footage. I've set them back slightly, so I can put uh, Oleander up in between them. And they are, they're sort of a, a cover to us going uh, to the stone wall and it looks quite neat and then finally uh i've done a little bit of a progress update on the bathrooms uh downstairs bathroom looking pretty good upstairs bathroom not yet not done any much on that yet so but the downstairs bedrooms are obviously important because i've got decorating to do in there and i've got three weeks and i still look like a bomb's gone off but uh... right this is uh progress made in <laughs> one of the bedrooms uh, nothing's happened in here for a week, except for we smashed the, the door. Because what happened was, is that they put a support on the, uh, on the wall, which they can level from. But in the bathroom, we've got tiles on the wall. And tiles on the wall. And we've just, tonight we've just done this section here. And the guys, they've uh, managed to do it without a joint. No joint in the tiling, which I am very impressed with. Um, there's a little joint ne necessary for um, this uh, pattern, but very, very small. So that gives me a lot of confidence. It's, it's very, very good. 
And it gives me a lot of confidence that when we do the marble bathroom, we can have no joint as well. So really, really good, really, really good. Um, so that's progress here. Oh, in the other bedroom, <clears throat> this I'm not happy with the brickwork that was shown there, so I'm gonna get that rendered and then uh, a white render on it. And that's what we're gonna do to this wall. So it won't look that like that. It'll be white rendered. Marble bathroom wise, we've adjusted the, the waste for the toilet, which is a good thing. Filled up all the, changed the plumbing and filled the wall. Uh, taps on, ready for render. Wastes are in for the his and hers bathroom and the waste down to the floor. The waste won't go in the floor until we're ready to do the floor because we're going to re screed the floor. Ask them to build that wall up to the top, which they've done, and then that will be white render all the way around. But not a lot of progress here because I'm not getting Billy to do this. I'm getting it done by the, the guys that are doing the other bathroom, doing all the brickwork and all the masonry work. So, um, so not, a lot of, not a lot of progress here, but um, probably by the end of this week, they will smash it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the, um, the flower. You know, the flower types of weed. Something else going on there as well. Yeah, I thought I uh, thought I mentioned this plant. We thought it was a weed, and yet it's not a weed. But something strange about it is that when I videoed it before at night, it was quite bright and the flowers were out. But during the day, it seems to hide. So it's the opposite to the daisies around the tree. During the day, they're out, and at night, they, sh they close. But this plant is the complete opposite. During the day, it's closed, as you can see. And at night, they open up as big plants. I don't know anything about plants, but <laughs> it's strange. And finally, I do have some time to myself and Ted. I took Ted for a, a long walk. Uh, in fact, about a nearly two hour walk. Um, on Sunday. Sunday is generally a day where I don't do anything. No one's here and uh, we have some time to ourselves. I go in the pool, sunbathe, take Ted for a walk, go out to the BP station, uh, have breakfast and wash the car. So Sunday is a day off here. Morning. So Sunday morning, taking Ted for a little walk. Uh, this place is up the mountain, uh, just outside Ellerin. Um There's not many places to take dogs for a walk, but this place um, kind of goes into the woods and uh, we've actually got a bit of shelter here. So we, we're kind of like on our own up here. We have no most people park a bit further down, but um, kind of park up here really, it's out of the way. And uh, it's quite hilly, but uh, this, this section is not too bad, but um, yeah. Gonna give him a walk, Sunday morning. Right, I'm at the, uh, I think I'm just about the top. I'm not quite at the top. That's the top there. <laughs> it's quite steep. So yeah, this is where I am now. Uh, very high, lovely view. I mean, again, I don't think you can see the sea, but I can. Um, it's a bit hazy, I suppose, because of the heat. But uh, yeah, Dad and Val, if you can remember. We went uh, to look at the little waterfall, Blanco, can't think of their full name. But down there is that the road. And I think you just saw a car, white car go past. I'm not too sure if you saw that. But then that house was, we saw that house um, when we looked at the waterfall. So the bridge, I'm not too sure if you can see that, but this is how high up we are. <laughs> So there's the, there's the bridge there. I don't know if you can see that. Hola. Hola. I don't know if you can see that, but that is um, the uh, the bridge right down the bottom there. It's a little arch. Not where my hand's pointing, because I can't can't even see it on the on the video. But, but yeah, right down there. So we are we are high up, and it's sort of where um, the guy just gone past the bike, where the bikes kind of 
do their trekking, I suppose, tracking or whatever you call it. So yeah, this is like tracks go up either side of the forest. Oh, we made it. So we made it. I don't know if you recognize that, but that was on previous last weekend's visit. Yeah, so the path, this is the top of the path, but the path going down, <laughs> I don't know if you could get a, an idea of how steep that is. It's all right making it up here because you're just using your legs, quads, you know, just pushing down and that's fine. But going downhill is slightly different <laughs> for me because I can't bend my ankle or twist it. So <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a challenge. But yeah, it's either that or you can see that. It's either that or 8.6k to queen, queen. So yeah, off we go. Right, Ted, are you ready? We go down this way, you need the way. Catch you later. So we went in a different way, and as we were coming down the mountain, we decided to, we were just gonna go back to the car and go home, but I said, oh, hang on, let's have another little track there. It looks similar to what we did the first time. And we lost some footage. So I've got footage of us going down that steep bit there, back to another car park, which is on the other side of the mountain. So now we're on this side of the mountain, so that's the mountain that we were going up, we saw, and we were on the other side. Um, and now I'm just gonna walk down here because this is a, an observation area down here. But I lost the footage from uh, the previous, previous weekend. Right, right then. So I'm at the observation area. It's recently been, uh, been constructed, probably from a safety point of view. Because uh, this is the unseen footage I lost last time i don't know why but so basically um you, let me just turn around here because i can show you the golf course so this mountains that's the sea um again you probably can't see it very well um the village is down here and this is uh i don't know if you can see that over there but that's alarine golf um the bp station is just to the left of that. Um, that's where Ken and Kate are staying, or bought a villa now, who are the previous owners of ours. Uh, over there, you can see that, you can see uh, Casa de la Mota, which is the uh, castle we did the video of last time. And then over there is Alarine. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, Quite high up, quite nice. You probably have to be here really to see it because um, it's very hazy today. Because, like I said, the heat, the heat is uh, getting it's worse, well, getting hotter and hotter. But uh, yeah, great view, nice breeze. I know you probably can't feel it, but it's so so pleased because at the at the villa we got this lovely breeze. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I never shave. <laughs> Bit of history to that one as well. I uh, threw my razor away, the blade. I've got one of these fusion things and I threw it away and then I went to the cupboard uh, yesterday and I thought right, I need to, need to clean myself up and uh, I've only got a uh, Mac 3 place which is what Rita was using so she's brought well we, we, we probably got it wrong ourselves but we've got left them all at home and brought out the wrong blades so I'm gonna have to uh, <laughs> have the shots so everything's shut the Sunday so I'm gonna have to look like this until Monday catch you later so I'll give you a bit more update in a week's time. Fingers crossed, bath will be done, um, and drive will be start looking looking a lot better, and all the stone walling be completely finished. Adios.
Strange that you wanna buy, but I have so no way to turn around and face the. 